I don't know if you can hear that, but my dogs are having the time of their life in the background. <laughs> oh boy. What are you guys doing? Crazy bastards. Okay. Loading up the game right now. Dogs are having fun. They're having fun. Why do you sound like that? What are you guys doing? What are you doing? Huh? Crazy guys. Okay. <clears throat> All right. I don't remember where I left off, but I'll do it. Oh, that's, that's right. This is what I was wearing. What was I doing? Meet with Weasley. I'm gonna do that. Doesn't really matter. Whoever's closest. Weasley's over there. I don't know where the other. Guess I'm going. Shadow port. Okay. You guys either need to go play somewhere else or just be quiet. What are you guys doing? What are you doing? You gotta do it right outside the door, huh? You gotta do it right outside the door. Okay, where am I going? This way. Miss Weasley. What about the rule, oh, right Professor? There. I was thinking the same thing, Deke. Perhaps you could help. Oh, uh, excuse, Deke. Ah. There you are. I trust your first classes went well? They did, Professor. I heard as much from Professors Hecate and Ronan. Seems Professor Fig taught you quite a bit before you arrived. I'd wager there's a good deal more to your travels here than what you've told me. Isn't there? Um... I don't I think I lied to her before have you and oh. professor fake not discussed my training he continues to be reticent about the details mentioning only a few spells revelio was it and lumos that's correct professor yeah I see. that's all he told me that's all he taught me I'm pretty sure <laughs> regardless you must continue to build upon what you've learned in that regard, I've asked your professors to help hasten your progress with some extra assignments. Huh. More work? I'm not sure I have time for extra assignments, Professor. You shall find the time. You'd oh, be astonished to know just how much you don't know. I'm sure I don't know a lot, but that doesn't mean that you gotta, like... Ronan will meet you outside I, momentarily. I, when, to when I have free time, huh? Now, regarding the Where's trip my study to Hogsmeade hall? I mentioned earlier... We've arranged to replace the supplies lost on your way here, including seeds, potion recipes, and spell crafts. Thank you, Professor. And Mr. Ollivander will connect you with the perfect wand. 
Ooh, you I get a wand. You pass as well with a borrowed wand, but you'll find the magic you cast with your own wand to be far superior. Um. I don't know what Oliver Andrews is, so I'm gonna say that. What's a spellcraft? I've never heard of a spellcraft before, Professor. What is it? A spellcraft is a recipe of sorts used when conjuring objects. I shall explain more about them when you begin working with transfiguration magic. Okay. I'm good. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. Very well. I'd like you to make your first visit to the village with a classmate. Help you get your bearings. Perhaps Sebastian Sallow or Natsai Onai. I've noticed you spending time with them. I met both of them once. When I fought in a duel, the other one was just kind of in the class. Um. Mm, Sebastian was cool, I'd I like think. I'd like to go with Sebastian. Glad to hear it. Mr. Sallow is a capable young wizard. And he knows the area. He'll keep you well clear of any of Victor Rookwood's undesirables en route. Rookwood? A rather unsavory local. Best to avoid him and his associates, including his right hand of sorts, Theophilus Harlow, if you can. Once you've finished Professor Ronan's assignment, your friend will meet you at the castle doors. No time to waste. The sooner you complete your work, the sooner you can enjoy a butterbeer at the Three Broomsticks. The sticks. Get to the Three Broomsticks. Um, bum bum bum. I'm gonna do this one first. Throw. Oh boy. That keeps freezing. I don't know why. I don't think he was last time I was playing, but. Anything? Is this the yeah no this is the common room, pretty sure. <clears throat> you gotta crawl to get into apparently. Why do they call her just fat lady? Does she not have a name? That's rude. We be zooming. You can make it. Lucan's just over there. Hey, Sebastian. Why is this thing? What you do? Huh? Levioso. Ooh, I'm, I'm a genius. Can I help you? You can in a second. Hold on. I'm gonna see. Why is my guy keep freezing up? <clears throat> you doing? Why are you freezing? Let me just reset him real quick. See if that did it. Let's try it again. That's not what I want to show. All right, try this again. My dog's just barking. Sebastian told me to see you about a club. If Sebastian vouches for you, that's all I need to know. I coordinate duels for crossed ones. A dueling club of sorts. It's invitation only, so you must have really impressed Sebastian. I mean, I kind of beat his ass, so yeah. I'm flattered to hear that. Sebastian's not a bad duelist either. Imagine it's quite something to see the two of you duel. How does cross ones work exactly? You show up, I match you with other duelists, and whoever is still standing in the end, wins. It's our way of determining the school's greatest duelist once and for all. And, to liven things up, the winner is awarded a prize. Interested? I guess. Of course. 
Dueling's an entertaining pastime. Give me the upgrade. I agree. Besides, in cross ones, you could duel with a partner if you like. Your first time I'll pair you with Sebastian. Next time, you'll need to bring a partner along or duel alone. So, alone. Can I, you step into the I'm, ring? I don't need anybody's help. Yeah. Get me in the ring. Spectacular! Let the fireworks begin! We'll make you regret signing up. <laughs> Rude. Why do you have to say it like that? Break through yellow shields with yellow spells. I can... Ooh. I am messing her up. Don't touch me. Oh, you're not done yet? I thought you were. Easy. Easy. I could never duel like that. Nice work. Sebastian wasn't wrong about you. There's strong. Of course he wasn't. That, <laughs> that girl. Up, her uh, the next her uh, robe is Carry not in. right. I shall. Now it takes time to organize these duels, but check with me later. I may have something lined up for you. Okay. Again, congratulations on your first crossed ones victory. Well fought. Thank you. Hope to see you back here again. I... Check some. Okay, so stuff does have like defense scores and stuff, but this has nothing anyway, so it's really <clears throat> either. Doesn't either. So I don't think I really have anything that actually gives me any defense anyway. But I don't need to put it on. But I think Ooh. Wait. <clears throat> no, I feel like no, I've done this before. We got better hats. He's nah. Do I have any any funny looking outfits? Not particularly, and I ain't putting one on. Sorry. So I have to just both of them is to go to the same thing. I got I get Reparo. There. I'm assuming. I don't have any teleports there though. What is this? Uh you know, maybe I have to go there. And what's that yellow one for? They both tell me to do the same thing, but they're in two different spots. Come on. Hello, dear. Ah, there you are. You have a new spell to teach me, Professor. Indeed I do, and an exceedingly useful one at that. The mending charm, Reparo. Fixes things right up, makes a broken object good as new in the blink of an eye. Hmm. It seems as if that might come in handy. More frequently than one would imagine. As Professor Weasley mentioned, I am not the only one who will be teaching you spells outside of class in an effort to catch you up with your peers. A number of your professors have agreed to do so as well, but first, each shall ask that you complete a few preliminary tasks to hone your magic. I have arranged okay. some for today. See them through and then report back to me. We will have you casting Rapero in no time. I'll start okay. from the top. Let's go. What am I doing? Uh, collect flying page. Got it. That was easy. Collect another one. 
I'm not going the right way. This way. A flying page must be around here. Right Brilliant. Easy. I trust the preliminary. I completed the assignments, Professor. Marvelous. You clearly know your way around basic charms. Let us give the old mending charm a try, then, shall we? Remember what did collecting those have to do with learning this spell? Movements. I want to see some vigor. Now, wand at the ready. Yes, sir. Remember, your wand is a conduit of your magic. It's just a swish and flick. Easy. Okay. Can do this. Mend broken objects in the environment. That's it. Very good. If you would like to practice mending something, have a go with that broken statue in the alcove by the water. It allegedly symbolized heartbreak. Perhaps a jilted lover Repair. thought to act and lashed out. Okay. Revelio. Oh. Give me the page. Uh, do I gotta go to Hogsmeade now? Get my uh, my wand. Hopefully. Grab this real quick. Difficult. Hello. I don't believe we've met. Oh, hello. I'm Lenora. Hello. Pardon me if I seem a little distracted at the moment. Everyone thinks I'm utterly balmy. Samantha mm, thinks I'm balmy. I'm what utterly balmy. Painting? I never noticed it before. If I know Hogwarts, and I do, an empty frame doesn't appear for no reason. There's something more to this. Uh, I'll have, have a look. Time. I've been wrecked. Okay. Do come and find me if you stumble on something illuminating that solves the mystery. Yeah. Uh, Revelio. Revelio. Nothing. Anyway, I'm going to continue what I was doing. Because I want to get a wand. I think that'd be cool. Or they can just give me a lightsaber. Hold on, there's another side quest I'm gonna grab. Just give me a lightsaber, man. I mean, it's, it's pretty much the same thing. Looks cooler, though. Oh dear. Is everything all right? Oh, hello. Nice hello. to see you again. Thank you for asking. I don't remember you. And I'm afraid everything's not all right. I may be in a spot of trouble with the librarian. You might recall that I was trying to cast non-verbally when we met in the common room. Well, I mastered that. Not particularly. And now I've taken to creating my own charms. Thought I'd perfected my light as a feather charm to use on my library books. My arms get so tired carrying them around all day. But I must have confused the Latin word for feather with bird in my incantation. Because when I opened my bag just now in the library, they literally took flight. Um... It does seem like a lot of work. That sounds a rather complicated way to simply avoid carrying your books. Possibly. But where's the fun in simplicity? New charms and spells have to come from someone. Why not me? I collect the books and remove the charm myself. Except this isn't the first time one of my charms has threatened the peace of the library. Our meat told Madame Scribner they were my books flying around. So she said that if I caused her any more trouble, she'd write to my parents. Perhaps oh you God! Could get them for me. Not writing to your five, parents. She won't be suspicious of a new student looking around. I, I suppose guess so. I could help if I have the time. Oh, I'd very much appreciate it. One of the books is my diary. I'd rather it not fall into the wrong hands. Okay. If you could collect them and bring them to me, I can remove the charm. Well, I ain't doing that right now, but I'll do it later. Oh. 
Hey man, you good? You okay? You need some help? And you just can't tell if you're practicing an invisible chair spell or you're just like doing the invisible chair and working out. Oh. What? He's a wizard. Probably. Most likely. He is. He's here. Where'd he go? Was it you? Revelios. Give me the cat. You look like the same guy, but I don't think he was eating an apple. I don't know. I think it's funny how, like, obviously that was just a bug in the game. But at the same time, like, you're seeing ghosts fly around and books fly around. Like, it's not that weird of a thing to see. You can't imagine how hey, Sebastian. Hello, Sebastian. Ah, Sebastian. My new charge. I'm told you're in dire need of supplies, and I'm to accompany you into Hogsmeade for them. Yeah. Is this your first foray into the village? Yeah. It is. I haven't left the castle since I arrived. Well, I shall endeavor to be the very best of guides then. Hogsmeade's a charming little place. Self-contained too. We should be able to find you everything that you need. Shall we? Sure. Oh, oh, oh man, excuse me. I was glad Professor Weasley asked me to join you today. As am I. Thank you, by the way. Of course. You're the only one who's ever bested me in a duel. The way I see it, I'd be wise to keep an eye on you. Speaking of Weasley, we're just, she seems to have taken just run in there? to you. Has she? That's nice to hear. I'm still surprised that a professor would entrust me with anything, given my detention record. I spend a lot of time in detention, do you? Just enough to keep me well rounded. Just just two bros running down the road one. for a nice jog into town. Glad I could be of service. Madam Scribner, the librarian, was among ones in his pajamas. As is often it's the normal. Case. Professor Weasley came to retrieve me, and I was able to convince old Scribner that I had somewhere to be. So, how did you manage to get on the librarian's bad side? Well, I suspect it's a matter of differing opinions. She thinks I shouldn't be allowed in the restricted section, and I, on the other hand, am inclined to disagree. Oh. Just one moment. This is an excellent spot to gather lace cream flies. They're pretty to look at. If you stew them long enough, they make a powerful potion ingredient. Okay. We'll be making potions. Merlin's beard from the Forbidden Forest. Look. What's going on? See for yourself. And Griffins. Quite a sight, isn't it? You certainly don't see that every day. Do you think Poppy's already seen the hippogriffs? Absolutely. Why are they already named? To the left is the Forbidden Forest. Out of bounds to all students. Oh, hence I'll be the in name. there soon. Precisely. They think it's too dangerous. I think they need to have more confidence in our defensive abilities. Ah, I mean, you can see Hogsmeade just past the They should, you know. But at the same time, kid dies. Their fault, you know. On the you school for that. A chance to explore the castle. A little. It's positively enormous. It is that. I've been there five years and barely scratched the surface. Loads to see, places to discover. Oh, any you'd like to share with the class? Perhaps one day. I can't go around telling you all my secrets now, can I? You still haven't told me how you became so good at dueling. Uh, game's easy. You were the first fight. I've always thought Thestral's pulling a carriage a bit grim. Though I suppose most people don't actually see them at all. But you can see them. 
unfortunately. But you've seen Accio. quite a bit yourself first-hand too. <laughs> Most notably that dragon attack. Hopefully the rest of your year isn't as eventful. It probably will be. Or else the game would not be fun. Cat, wait. I need to be closer. I'll get him next time. Mr. Moon. He's the Hogwarts caretaker. Looks a bit worse for wear. Hello, oh, Dave. Mr. Moon. Have you met our new fifth year? Pleasure. Uh, you might want to turn back, Mr. Sallow. Uh, turn and run. Is everything all right, sir? Oh, look right at me. Eyes big as saucers. What did, Mr. Moon? Demi guys. Ugly and airy and terrifying. I don't know what that is. I shall be at the castle where it's safe. Good luck to both of you. Okay. Tell he's you guys. He's drunk right I don't now. Know what he's putting in his pumpkin juice, but he's obviously had too much of it. I've never seen Mr. Moon in such a state. Mr. Moon is quite the character. My sister Anne thinks he's lovely, but I'd say he could improve a bit as a caretaker. Oh, is your sister in Slytherin too? I mean, I don't she know what time it is, but brother. she was. Uh, She's not well at still moment. daytime. I don't think he should be out drinking. <laughs> One too many butterbeers, eh? Honestly. If one could bottle the magic of this place. I don't know if it's the shops or the people, but there's just something about Hogsmeade. We all flock to it like moths to a flame. That person's having fun. So how would you like to do this? Weasley told me you had a list of things to get. A wand and some other bits. Yeah. Yes. Dittany seeds, some spell crafts, and some potion recipes. Perfect. Can't wait to see what you do with the new wand. And a short list gives you plenty of time to poke around the village. I just have to pop into a shop to find something for my sister. Let's meet up in the town circle when you're finished. Wait, someone's passed out behind you. Remember, have fun. It's Hogsmeade. Uh... Okay, oh shit. I go to those three. Go to this one first, and then make my way around. Might as well. Hello? Inquiring mind. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the spellcrafts Professor Weasley ordered. Matilda, student. I thought I might be seeing you soon. I am the proprietor here. Thomas Brown, I take it you've had a conjuring lesson then? I'm afraid I haven't yet, sir. Ah, but you will soon enough. It is magic at its purest, creating something out of nothing. Of course it is not without complexity, but that is where my spellcrafts come in. Stay the course, and you could soon impress even Professor Weasley. That's certainly something to aspire to, Mr. Brown. I look forward to that day. And I, too, seeing it. Spellcrafts are incredibly useful for conjuring unique items like custom pieces of furniture or decoration. But I shall let Professor Weasley do the teaching. For now, let's get the spellcrafts you need. A potting okay. table and a potion station. Yes? I believe Good. so, sir. Good. Nothing like being able to grow your own ingredients and brew what you want, when you want. Let's have a look. Let's look at what we have, shall we? Yeah, we should. Give me that. Give me that. If you're interested, uh, feel free to take a look no, around no, at can't. the rest of my inventory. Yeah, sell my clothes. I don't need them. Okay. So I got three more places to go. One up. Rebellion. 
Hello. I'll be right with. Ah, it's you. Um, just a moment, please. Ah, mm. hello, sir. I'm looking for for a new wand. Yes, it's about time. Yes, uh, about time. Well, you're our new fifth-year student, are you not? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you are. Gerbold Ollivander's the name. Now, how did you know? But of course. How did you know I was a student? I know I, like, sure. I look the right age, I but I ain't wearing anything to prove it. The world. It's a pleasure to meet you. Truly. Now, come with me. Let's find you the perfect one, shall we? Mm, uh, no, 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 not you. Um, ah, yes. Yes. Hmm. Powerful core. Ten and a half inches? Hmm, you might do. Here, give this one a try. Well, go ahead, swish. Hmm, how odd. Uh, once more, come on, really swish it. Oh dear. What did I do? Well, this isn't a good match at all, is it? No, I'd say not. Uh, um, we'll find you something, not to worry. Mm, no, not you. Uh, uh, mm, perhaps. Yes. A rare wood, 13 and 3 quarter inches, dragon heart string. Let's give this one a try. Goodness. Uh, looks like it's back to the shelf for you. Uh, I'm not good this at this. Is proving to be trickier than I had anticipated. How perplexing. Um, where are you? Perhaps you? Uh, ah, there you are. Think you might be the one. Here, take it. Oh boy. Uh, is that the? That might be the one that I took the test to get. I don't remember. I think so. I don't remember. Oh, it looks like I just customized it anyway. Curious indeed. How intriguing. I really know what any of this means. Curious uh, indeed. I don't really like any of the ones that have like, uh, they look like you're just going to shove them up your butt. I don't like those ones. How intriguing. Uh, I guess I'll just go with this one because that's the one I got for the test. Uh, yeah, do white. That looks cool. Uh, I guess that's fine. Quite bendy. 14 inches. Is, I don't, is, does that actually affect anything or no? I don't, I don't know. Dragon, so I got unicorn hair. What a, dragon heart strings that serves as the core of the wand. Known for do, producing powerful magic consistent magic or a great range i like you know this is what i got for the test so i guess i just go with the what to do you think? This is what i got for the test <clears throat> extraordinary <laughs> another wand another beginning of a bright and magical future <laughs> ah I'm still in my pajamas. <laughs> now, how did that feel? Good. Different. I sensed a sort of surge of some kind. A match. Your connection seemed particularly powerful. 
The right wand will learn from you, just as you learn from it. I'm eager to try it out. Indeed. Treat it well, and you shall find no more dependable a wand than one with a unicorn hair core. And the bond okay. between you and your wand should only grow stronger. Do not be surprised at your new wand's ability to perceive your intentions, particularly in a moment of need. That sounds wonderful, Mr. Ollivander. I'll let you get to it. Do come and see me again, if ever I can be of further assistance. Okay. Uh, hey, okay. guess I'm all set there. Give me, I got my wand. Where am I going? Go to potion. I think it was that magic. I go to those. Uh, this way. This place looks out of place. Welcome to Jay Pippin's Potions. Hey, Jay Pippin's Potions. Pardon me, sir. Oh, thank goodness. When I heard the bell, I thought you were Miss Lawang. Not that she deigns to come here. Though, I don't believe I've seen your face here before, either. It's my first time in Hogsmeade, Who the hell is actually? La Lawang? Is it really? Well, Parry Pippin at your service. And this is Jay Pippin's Potions. Potions for all ailments. <laughs> You'll have read it on the sign, of course, but Grandfather always made me say it in full. <laughs> How may I help you today? Professor Weasley Give me some said potions. we some recipes. I'm new at Hogwarts. You're the student she sent the owl about. I set your things aside immediately. I suspected if you're anything like I was at your age, you'd want your potion supplies. Is it not the most fascinating art potion making? Rivals, anything you can do with a wand, I've always said. Are potions really that versatile? They may not be as showy as spell work, but make no mistake, they are just as powerful. They can heal, destroy, protect. You'll discover all of this soon enough. As it's your first time in, I should mention that it's not just potion recipes I sell. I also offer ready-made drafts for all manner of uses, and I unveil new ones from time to time. Pop in when you can so you don't... Uh, miss out on anything hmm? but for now let's get you those recipes shall we yeah what can i do for you today give me the recipes feel free to take a look at the rest of my inventory i'm or good come back another time if you're in a rush today i'll do it later uh Got you. Well, hello there. Hello there. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the seeds Professor Weasley arranged for me to collect. Oh, the dittany for the new fifth year. Yeah. <laughs> I take it that's you then. Yeah. Merlin's beard. Starting on your beard does look like year. Merlin's. You're right. Must be positively reeling from it all. Not at all. I'm choosing to see it all as one big adventure. Well, bravo! Not everyone has That's the temperament to take things in as they come. Name's Timothy Teasdale, by the way, and this is my shop, the Magic Neep. I keep the cart out here because I like a good chat. Can't very well be in the thick of things if I'm hidden away inside now, can I? I suppose not. In addition to seeds, I have plenty of plants. Grow everything myself. My speciality is potion ingredients. Even Pippin purchases from me. But what I'll say we Pippin get you purchases from you. Give me my seeds. Let me guess. You're after something fresh. Do have a look around. You know what I'm here Plenty for. I just told you. To pique your interest, I'd wager. Well, that's everything. Better go and find Sebastian. Give me that. We're gonna get Sebastian back. Sebby boy. Lovely sign that I can't read. Hey, madam. I can't fucking. 
that? I already can't read in general. How am I supposed to read it when I, it's just blurry? Debbie, my boy. I officially have all of my supplies. Excellent. Did you get what you needed for your sister? I did. So I suppose the world is our oyster now. Let's see what else we can get up to. Yeah. Well, sounds like we're about to get up to something. Like a whatever that is. learned how to do that I don't know did they ever tell me how to dodge did I just kind of start doing it I think it's just my gamer instinct you know Just told me to do it. Nicely done. What box is that? Another box. Beating this boy up. Sebastian, get out of there. He didn't even hit me with it, but I still stupefied him. He's uh. Oh, that still hit me. Barrel. Jesus. Banished him to the shadow realm. Goodness. Goodness. A second troll. Yeah. Did you two take on a fully grown troll by yourselves? Nope. I suppose so. Jesus showed Some up and helped blurred, me. To be honest. Merlin's beard. Are you all right? Can my character we just are. be highly We're schizophrenic? I'd say help. But like a, a really powerful wizard. <laughs> that yeah, that's, <laughs> that's a pretty bad combination. If you are yeah. unharmed, you perhaps the An two of you wouldn't mind helping me put a things is. back to where they were. Of course, Officer. Singer. Officer Singer. And thank you, again. No problem. Uh, repair shit? Repair it. Okay. Uh, good as new. I'll go and see what you want. Let me go. Catch. Akio. Catch. Levioso. Catch. I can't do it. Not letting me. That's so sad. Uh. Repairo. Lucky they didn't do more damage. What did I. I didn't mean to repair that. I was trying to repair this. <laughs> Guess it works. One less thing for Officer Singer to worry about. Okay. One more thing to throw over here. An entire okay. house. Just gonna just you know flick her wand around a little bit, it'll go back in place. Yeah, just like that. Zebby. Wait. Revelio. We dead. Zebby. Mr. Hill was just singing your praises. I'm sure he was. 
Hello, sir. I don't believe we've met. Allow me to introduce myself. Augustus Hill, Clothier Extraordinaire. Clothier? You're going to hate me because I ain't going to buy anything. Bravery in fighting those trolls. I'm going to wear my onesie, dude. I mention your help restoring Hogsmeade to its rightful state. I was happy to help. Frankly, you deserve an Order of Merlin. They but don't know I'm going to do something okay. much more useful. I own Gladrag's wizard wear, and among my inventory are some unique items that afford certain protections, as it were. Life-saving protections. And as I suspect this won't be your last dangerous encounter, I'd like to give you one such set of robes. In thanks for what you did today. Thanks. Thank you, Mr. Not going to wear them, but That's thanks. That's very generous of you. It's the least I can do. Uh, now, uh, let's try this on for size, shall we? Sure. Plenty for your perusal today. Take your time. So I just just get a that cool. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'll put it on because it gives me defense. Fine. What do you want, bud? I'd say we crying? burned a butter beer or two. Oh, I you? Might help me forget that I was almost pulverized by a troll. I'd say that I agree with you. Perfect. I'll, I'll feed Three you in a sec, bud. Once I can pause way. the game, I'll feed you. What are you doing? I sell even more Coming ahead in the closet. Items, should you be inclined? You're most... Okay. I am going to go feed my dog. Hold on. Add, uh, add some to that real quick. Bum, ba, bum, ba, bum. Where in the... There it is. Okay. Ah, uh, fuck it. I'm not gonna do that. Okay, I'll be right back.
And I'm back. Dogs have been fed and taken out. So we should be good to go now. Okay, I got a scarf. Perfect. Can I... Put these? Okay, I'm gonna take it off. Scarf. It looks the worst. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. What is this? Why is this telling me there's more? Oh, actually... Got some new uh, types of glasses. I don't think I actually have uh, any gear to put on. Okay. Where was I? Where was I? At your leisure. Okay. Rebellion. Anything in here? Ooh, there it is. Ooh. Bunch of chests, too. Okay. Can't open that one. Oh. Stubby. Assuming it isn't utter bedlam in there, you might even meet Serona, the owner. She's a good one to know. Okay. The tree broomsticks. Oh, he's, he's got a top hat. He's suspicious. The man with the big hands. You could get to the charm. Little man, Into big hands. That all you needed was a distraction. I gave you a distraction. I just watched a student take down your distraction. Who is this child? What are you not telling me? All you need to know is. That if you cannot get to the child, then you have no value to me. <sighs> Let's go. And he, he clearly saw us. Did they see us? I don't think so. What was that goblin doing with Victor Rookwood? Ranrock is working with Rookwood. The goblin from the Daily Prophet. I knew I'd seen him somewhere. Quickly, let's get inside the three broomsticks. Uh, yeah, let's. It's a treat to see you, Lord Gok. I shall let you know if I hear anything. Thank you, Serona. You be well. There's another little man with big hands. Don't look at me like that. Now, what can I... Oh... There's a face I haven't seen before. <laughs> it's my first time here. Well, As I'm just wearing what I'm wearing. Me. Aren't you nice? Heard about the attack. I shall be looking in on the other shopkeepers and residents shortly. Glad to see you two escaped injury. Thanks to this one. Single-handedly took down a troll. That's not that true. Right? You were there too. Well done. Thanks for this. My pleasure. I will say... Trolls in Hogsmeade... That's never happened before. Something's not right. The only brutes we usually have to deal with are... Oh. How timely. Was that Lodgok I saw leaving just now? Your clientele's not what it used to be, Serona. Not to worry, Victor. Once the two of you leave, the caliber of my clientele will greatly improve. I wouldn't do that if I were you, Theophilus. Come now. No need for theatrics. I'm only here for this one anyway. He looks like one of those uh, My friend people that run the circuses. I don't remember what their name is. Only want a quick word. Perhaps you didn't hear me. I said, my friend is busy. One would think you all had enough bloodshed for one day. Come, Theophilus. 
The Three Broomsticks isn't what it used to be. Let's take our galleons elsewhere. Can't drink butter beer forever. Now, so he's supposed to be like the big boogeyman of uh, Hogsmeade, right? Kind of like a fortunate enemy, like a What's your bad? head criminal guy. But like, troll, it pretty much what just happened here was he walked in, Trolls? everybody pulled a gun on. You know, if this was America in the Wild West, right? Everybody pulled a gun on him right there. Perhaps best I do that later. If the gun could. Take you up and do magic stuff. And on that note, I think we should head back to the castle. Revelio. Grab that. Okay. Debbie, wait for me. I'm certainly glad Serona was there. Told you she was one of the good ones. I can see that. She didn't seem at all intimidated by Rookwood and Arlo. I think you'll need to tell me why Victor Rookwood has you in his sights. But we could talk later. For the moment, we should return to the castle. Professor Weasley's certain to hear about the troll attack soon if she hasn't already. Don't want to risk another detention for getting back after hours. Yeah. Must return to the common room. Oh man, it's just so nice getting to wake up and then not have to put any clothes on because you're just in your pajamas and that's how it's going to stay. Uh, up or down? I think down, I'm assuming. It gets me to... Ow. The fig. Okay. Okay. Wrong way. Do a couple side west, probably first. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. Take the best way to learn how to fly a broom stick. Yep. Quests. What do I got? I got to like the flying book. Yeah, real quick. Where I am. I need. I need to get all these uh teleport spots. I'm going to have to use Akio to get to those. Got it. Only four more to go. I really. I was just thinking, I'm like, you know. I might want to watch Harry Potter. That might be a good idea. This must be Cressida's diary. I'd want this back too if I were her. Yeah, I don't. I feel uncomfortable reading it, but I'm gonna read it anyway. Just curious. Today was a good day. That is until Gareth splashed whatever ridiculous concoction he was creating all over my perfectly stewed lacewing flies. Had to empty my entire cauldron and start all over again. He is such a menace. Thinks he knows everything. There, uh, thinks he knows everything there is to know about potions. Always disturbing Professor Sharp's class with his experiments. I'm utterly convinced that he is. That if he wasn't Professor Weasley's nephew, he would have been expelled. 
uh, Aberroth, Arbroth, Smokies again tonight for dinner. I'm becoming more partial to them now, although I still prefer meat pies. I don't know what any of that meant. Uh, book. Book. Uh, more. Not seeing it down there anywhere. Where's the book? Blank book. Revelio. <laughs> My dog's barking. Sorry if you could hear that. I don't know what he's barking at, but he barking. Last. Why did this place gave it off? Locked. Um, um, bum, 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 bum. Give me that. Revelio. Oh. Teleport thing. Let's grab that. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. Huh. Down here anywhere. Gotta be upstairs then. Zooming. Rebellion. Oh. I see you. I see you. That's the last book. Now to take them back to Cressida. Cressida. Here, girl. Got your books for you. Finding my diary. Hello, Cressida. I can. Oh, what a relief! Thank you. You're welcome. I'll happily take the heavy lot off your hands now. I'm sure you would. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm there really... you are. Well, lesson learned. I certainly won't be practicing any charms in the library again anytime soon. Now, to work out where I went wrong, perhaps I should start brushing up on my Latin. Yeah. Or just not doing oh, it, goodness. carrying your books. Some Go to the gym. You know? want got old. I don't particularly like the look of it. Does it actually do anything, though? Uh, I don't think so. I'm just going to leave it off. Just fuck it. Got some new gloves. Now it is Oh. Accio. Levioso. Repair. Give me a close to Oh, that spot Ooh. must be a clue. I should look around in case it's nearby. Stick. Give me that. Pretty much just tell me. The door. Ah, okay. So I actually have figured this out. I saw a thing about it. So that's zero, and then one, two, all the way around. So it's eleven plus two. So, 13, uh, plus, what is it, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, spider. This is spider. Okay, and then this one, 
is one, two, three, four, five, plus one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Five plus nine, 14, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, 14. So, Hydra thing, Hydra snake thingy, snake with tree heads. I hope my math is right, because I'll look real stupid. It's funny, because I was actually... <laughs> I got really good grades in math at school. Um, but it's just a quick math. I'm not good at it. I remember formulas and shit for about a week. Um, and then it's just gone. But... Okay. Got some gloves. Even worth selling? Probably not. Can't be. Yeah, keep the blue glove. This looks like the location from the painting. What could Does be it? special about it? Probably that, I just. Akio! Lumos! Hey! Oh, Let's get yeah, you back oh to it's your a friend, moth. moth. Goes to the. Goes to the light. I knew there was a connection. I should tell Lenora that I solved the puzzle of that empty frame. Tell her she watched. She's right there. Oh. Excuse me. Lenora, I solved the mystery of that painting. You did? Did? Oh, I please. found the location depicted in the paint. All very logical, is it? You know, I don't care. I'm just gonna skip that. <laughs> Not important. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> that does look stupid, but I'm no. I think I think the scarf adds too much. I think the scarf adds too much to what I'm going for here. Um, that it. So just this one. Okay. So I gotta go. <clears throat> oh, there's a someone's got a blast ball. Just jump now. Uh oh. Professor. I'm glad to see you. And I, you. Thank Merlin you're in one piece. I heard about the attack. Trolls in Hogsmeade? Yeah. So, the trolls were wearing armor. It had that dark glow like... I the thought he was going to stop there. Goblin silver. Ranrock used it to control the dragon. But how? And why send trolls to... They were there because of me. I overheard Ranrock talking with Victor Rookwood. Ranrock was in Hogsmeade? With Rookwood. The trolls were Ranrock's distraction so that Rookwood could get to me. And he would have, had Serona and the patrons at the Three Broomsticks not intervened. This is great news indeed. If Ranrock's goblins and dark wizards are after you, they want what we found in that vault. Um... They... Yeah, they, just, they want the They're locket. after the locket. You said you discovered something in it. Yes. Yes. I discovered an inscription. When I read it aloud, this map appeared. Clever enchantment. It's a map of Hogwarts, to be sure, but I do not know where it leads. It leads to the library. A restricted section, to be precise, and a bit beyond. I see traces of magic there on the map. I suspected you would see something. Shall we go? 
I appreciate your enthusiasm, and I'm eager to discover what we may find there as well. But if our experience at Gringotts, let alone what happened to Miriam, taught me anything, it's that the path we're on is terribly dangerous. I'd like you to work with Professor Heckett a bit before we continue. But, sir, how dangerous could the library be? Perhaps we're only after a book. Perhaps we are only after a book, but we should be prepared for anything. Once you've honed your defensive magic further, come and see me. I'll let Professor Heckett know to expect you. Okay, thank you, man. Oh my god. This way. Off on another adventure, Here. are we? Bathroom? Those pipes going up there. Doesn't need to do that. It could just be straight line. Whoa. Sorry about that, man. Didn't mean to scare you. Late rising today, were we? No time to change. The fuck? And there's a quest up here for Hello there. you. Hello there. Uh, Hello. Were you calling me? I was, yes. Thought you might be interested in joining me for a bit of an adventure. Following a treasure map to be precise. Slight respite from battling the odd troll, I should think. Ask Poppy if she'd like be interested you. as well, but couldn't drag her nice away person, from her puff skein. What a, I found oh, two what maps is, lying about. Both what's the guy's name? Urkel. Steve Urkel. He reminds me Care of that. have a look at one? Follow the Hogwarts treasure map. Count me in. Wonderful. Hogwarts fascinates me. You can keep whatever treasure lies at the end of your map. I'll be satisfied just knowing where it leads. What? Nobody. I shall take a look Existence. if I can find the time. Has ever said that. Meet me back here if Here's you a treasure map. Me. I don't want the treasure. I just want to know where the treasure is. Oh, it's that rhino horn. Uh, that looks familiar. I don't remember. Either way, we do other stuff first. To learn in India. <sighs> Man. You, down there. Give me your side quest. Oh, there's a rhino. Ah, a rhinoceros. If only a new student were to help me with my sad... Are you alright? Don't you know who I am? No. Zenobia Oak. The girl whom everyone at school hates for no reason. Okay. Sorry, I'm sorry the other students weren't more friendly. That's kind of you. I suppose there are a few decent souls here. I wanted to make some new friends, and so I brought my collection down to the common room. My gobstone collection, that is. I, don't know I was hoping is. someone would want to play. Are you familiar with gobstones? No. Little balls, like marbles. Grand gain. And if you lose, they spray you with a foul-smelling liquid. I would have... That, that, that sounds awful. I haven't much interest in a game that sprays you with odors. Only if you lose, which I never do. Or at least, not often. Okay, but People so it's fun so for you cool. then, but not for just because they're sprayed all over with smelly gobstone spit. It's their own fault for losing. What? Imelda is one of the worst losers. Ever written a story or a terrible as well. And now those poor losers have taken my gobstones and hidden them in very high places all over the school. I mean that that they are definitely overreacting. Rather they probably should have just on their part. like I'll not say. played. You. Anyway. I can't work out how to get them back on my own. I don't think I know the necessary spells yet. I need someone, perhaps a selfless and talented fifth year, to help me. Fine. I'll see what I can do. I'd appreciate the help, 
If you do find all of my gobstones, do come and see me again. I'll be back to playing Snake Pit and Jackstone by myself in no time. I don't know what either of those are, but you did say by yourself, and that's sad. Anyway, back to what I was doing. Hello? Teach me a spell. I'm here about the new spell you wanted to teach me, Professor. Good. A Professor Fig indicated a certain urgency to you completing your defensive magic assignments. As such, you are to learn Incendio, the fire-making spell. Handy for lighting torches, burning away spider webs, and, when necessary, defending against those who would wish to do us harm. Sounds uh, versatile. Quite. But before we get started, I'd like you to complete a few tasks. You may be surprised by some of them. Astonishing how much students don't think their professors know. When you're finished, come and see me. Then we shall Am I going to be astonished by them because they have absolutely nothing to do with the spell you're about to teach you know me and they're just kind of doing little finished. stupid shit? Yeah, win two rounds of Grand Cross. Seems crossed ones isn't as secret as it's Ooh. believed to be. So win two rounds of that and complete a round of that. What does this have to do with, I guess it's training, so I guess it's not for... Let's fight some people. Okay. Uh, hey, my boy Sebby's here. Yo. Uh. The training Hello, dummy, Lincoln. the other thing I had May to do? May I use the training dummy? Of course. I'll fetch it and give you a list of combinations to practice. You. Ready to have a try now? Let's go. That would be wonderful. Be sure to cast. Yep, yep, yep. I got it. I got it. Accio. Nicely done. Thanks, man. Levioso. Easy. I'd say that's enough practice. You looked good out there. Thank you, Lucan. I say better to discover one's weaknesses during practice than during a duel. You'll be a fearsome challenger now. Okay. Now I gotta Hello. do. Why, yes, is Frost ready for another round. I'm ready. Brilliant. Are you dueling with a partner? Uh oh, do I want to? Um Yeah, let's bring her. Yes, I have an uh let's there. Let's get to it. Let's go, Natty. Ready to get thrashed? Not really. Apologies in advance. Huh? Why is there three of them? Not fair. The like two of us. Break right, yeah. Oh, the wrong one on the wrong one. I keep, keep using the wrong one on the wrong one. Bravo! 
I gave it my all. You did indeed. The other duelists have already taken notice of you. But after that last round, they'll really have it in for you. Oh boy. You'd better keep practicing if you want a chance at winning. <laughs> or at least surviving the next round. <laughs> I'll let you know when we're ready. Yep. The next round is for all the gobstones, so to speak. <coughs> Why does everybody keep saying gobstones? Can I go and learn a spell now? see it on the map oh. assignments all finished someone just got got home so I have to mute oh yeah okay now it popped up okay give me the spell Now, I trust Mr. Brattleby was able to. I finished all of the tasks you gave me. Glad to hear it. Should be. Yes, I'm sorry to say I visited enough careless colleagues at St. Mungo's to assure you that Fire is a fickle servant. <laughs> Your spell casting has. If I would rather we not. Let us begin. Okay, give, give me the spell. Give me the spell. Concentrate and keep your wand steady. Alrighty. Good work. Um, no, really at the moment. Incendio. Getting it. You got it. Leviosa. Incendio. Ooh, okay, that didn't have much room. Okay. Okay. That's where I'm gonna leave it for today. Oh. Y'all have a good night. Bye.